please, I have this question. If, if for example, now in my Bybit spot wallet account, I have fifty dollars, right? Now I want to enter any market, just only. That means I want to risk only ten dollars. I want to risk only ten dollars into the trade, into any signal. Let me say, you give a signal, and out of my fifty dollars, I want to risk only ten dollars. Now, how am I like going to go about it for the setup and everything? If you have how much in your Bybit account? Fifty dollars, for example, and you give a signal. Then I want to enter the market. I want to enter that signal. I want to enter the market with that signal. Just, 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 uh, just risking ten dollars out of the fifty. There are two ways to go about that. Okay. First, you can enter the market with the whole of your capital and then set your stop loss that if this market goes against you minus $10, you will, you will close the trade. Okay? Now, going into the trade with the whole of your capital gives you an advantage to make bigger money. All right? Secondly, the way you can do that is to only trade with $10. Out of that $50, you only trade with $10. And then inside that $10 you are trading with, you will now determine that, oh, if this market goes against me by 50%, which is losing $10, uh, $5 out of that $10, you go ahead and set the stop loss that way. How do you do that? First, you come in, you select the coin. Once you select the coin, you want to change the margin mode. The margin mode is it, I cross, if you use cross mode, it will use the whole of the $50. So you want to use isolated. Okay? So you select isolated. Okay. Once you select isolated, you now select your leverage. Once you select your leverage, in this case 10x leverage, you go ahead and if you don't know how to do that, if I go ahead and use, for instance, let's say I want to enter this trade and I use 10% of my capital, it will tell you down here the cost. It will cost me 80, 80, $83 to enter this trade. Okay? Now, your own 10% will be 10% of the $50 you have. So if it tells you that it is $83 that is going to cost you to enter that trade, or in your own case, 10% um, of $50 will be, I don't know, maybe around $5 or thereabout. Okay? Now, you see that the quantity of BNB I want to trade is 2.7, and it's going to cost me $83 to enter that trade. So what you will now do is, instead of adding 2.7, I don't want to use $80. Um, $80. Uh, I'll go ahead and say, okay, let me type, instead of putting... Um, two, I can go ahead and do two BNB. Two BNB will cost me how much? $61. If I make it 0 0.8 BNB, it will cost me, sorry, it's 0 0.8 BNB, it will now cost me $24. So you keep adjusting this because when you use a slider percentage, the percentage will be on the capital you have on your official trading account. So you keep selecting now, if I don't want to use just 10% or 20% or 40%, I will now use this $24. This is what is going to cost me to open this trade. I'll go ahead and open the trade. Now, when I open the trade, it gives you the option to set take profit. The take profit, you probably have percentage sliders there. You will now select, I want to make a, a risk 10% or 20% out of, in this case, if you are using just $10, whatever take profit level you are setting, or a stop loss level you are setting because you are using isolated is based on that particular ten dollars you have entered the trade with okay so if the market moves by 100 percent you are making 100 percent of how much ten dollars if the market goes against you by minus 100 percent you are losing how much ten dollars all right then when you enter with the whole of your 50 dollars for instance i go ahead and click 100 percent you are entering with the whole of that 50 dollars you will now come to this um, uh, to the stop loss level and say, okay, if this market goes by 50%, I want to take profit. But if it goes against me by minus $10, I want to do what? Set my stop loss. You go ahead and set your stop loss and the trade will close when it goes against you by minus what? $10. Okay, okay, sir. Yes. That means the best thing to do is just to set up your stop loss and while using your, the, your whole capital so that you should gain more now. Exactly, exactly. So that your profit, your profit now will be based on the percentage of your total capital. capital exactly. Not, not only $10. $10. Exactly, exactly. Okay, I get you now. Yes.
I'm the best for you to study the stop loss. The stop loss, yes. You do all of the risk, um, risking and the rest on your stop loss. So you now set your stop loss in a way that if the market now goes against you by minus $10 automatically to stop, it means that you still have $40 to fight more in the market. Okay, sir. Just because of network, the, 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 the recording for yesterday, I, I could not uh, study it on just because of my network. We have been having network issue here. So I will just take time, go back and study all of it. It's all right. I just go, go through it. And if there is any question, always ask. Um, I will take a time and you know provide answers for any questions that is asked. OK, sir. Thank you very much. Thank You're welcome. All right. Any, any yeah, other question? question OK, thank you for that. So any other question as regards drawing and using trend lines and all of that? All right, if there is no other question, we've already spent um, an hour plus. So I'll call it a day here so that we'll be able to digest everything we have explained there, right? Let us be able to digest everything we have explained there. Then we'll look for another opportunity. Tomorrow we'll meet again. Then the class, this class is supposed to be seven days, but I'm not going to include weekends. Okay, so I'll be completing the class next week, either Monday and Tuesday or there, but I will communicate to you how it's going to be. All right, so tomorrow will be the last day for this week, and then we'll continue again next week. All right, then after that, you still have access to the group. I will still be sending signals. Uh, the whole idea is that you start trading. Bybit wants to see those, you know, uh, trading coming in, trading volume coming in from your account. Please try to study the system, try to study everything. If there is anything you don't understand, I don't mind, even if I end this class, I don't mind having a one-on-one -on -one meeting with you to explain things better. Okay, if there is anything you don't understand, always come back, all right? If I send a signal, you don't understand it, always ask questions and all of that. I will always make a time to help you once you become a good trader, I believe you'll be happy. And once you're happy, I believe uh, I will probably be happy too. So that is it for today. I will see you guys uh, tomorrow, same time.